G'day, I'm Trady Trev, and today I'm going to be showing you how to repair your rooted PC motherboard. Basically, you just go through the steps of identifying which component it is and how to go about fixing it. Mostly, the electrolytic capacitors in a lot of the older motherboards before they became the newer solid. This little sucker here is one of your newer solid capacitors. You know, you do see the old electrolytic capacitors on the older stuff. What does a blown capacitor look like? Well, it kind of looks a lot like this. If you can see it, there's actually a bulge at the top of the capacitor. This is a video card I've got in my hand. It, it, even by fi feeling by touch, you can, you can feel that it, it's bulging out and chances are that something like this will be stopping your computer or your motherboard from starting or even random crashes and things like that where it's not working right. This is an old HP piece of shit motherboard, an old P4 one. What you can see about it is that the caps are gone in it. And basically I'm just gonna try to go through and, and repair all these. Now I got this for nothing doesn't cost me anything, the only thing it costs me for is the time. And these little suckers from my little Asian friend in China. Now, I'm also using a second hand power supply. So one way just to see that it actually works without even using a meter, is shove the green wire and the black wire together. Yep, bonds up. So we know that that works, we we'll probably unplug it. No, nothing at all. So it looks pretty, it looks, yeah, well and truly dead as a doornail. But what you, what you can see is that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of the bricks to pull out and, um, and give it a go to replace. I know, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Okay, what I'm going to do is just go through and, and just mark the negative side of things, and that'll be the one with the line on the electrolytic capacitors. hope this doesn't have any effect on the board, but it'll certainly help me out um, when, it when it comes time to put the other suckers back in. It'll also show me too, when I go down the path, if it does, if it does work, that is the question, um, what the problem is and how to go about fixing it in the future. One thing about electrolytic capacitors is that you basically have to choose the right microfarads and um, you can go up in voltage but yeah w you wouldn't want to go down in voltage it will just cause it to pop um, but if there is another problem somewhere else in the motherboard um, chances are if this continues to pop you'll know that there's something wrong elsewhere. Say hello to my little friend Zoom. They're just about the same. As before, this is our first one. The short leg is the um, is your negative.
nothing. Okay, at this point, I'm kind of pissed off. I'm kind of upset that I've just spent the last 45 minutes trying to get this, this, this HP piece of shit P4 motherboard working, and I realise it doesn't work. There's obviously something else wrong with it, and there's nothing I can do to fix it. So this is the point where I say, I tried, I tried to say, I cared, but I really just didn't have any answers. <sighs> but you see, there's plenty more fish in the ocean. You only just have to go find the new one. And that's for another video. Ah, didn't work. Right on, next one. I'm Trady Trev, and you guys don't break anything.